Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to set a toilet on an uneven floor. When installing a new toilet, you may think to add shims or even relevel the whole bathroom floor. But I got just the right solution that will save you time and money. In cases like this, what we like to do is install a toilet on something called Plaster of Paris. First, let's move the toilet out of the way. And make sure that the toilet flange is nice and strong. We then clean the floor area really well. And finally, we put the bolts in the flange. And at this point, I like to use the nuts to keep the bolts straight up and steady. This will help guide the toilet bowl when installing later. We mix the plaster with one part of water and two parts of the mixture. I like to add a bit at a time until it's just right. What we're looking for is a firm, muddy consistency. Now we'll spread it at the bottom where the toilet will sit and just follow the old stain marks to know where to put the plaster. And we want to make sure that when we set the toilet, the whole bottom is covered with plaster. However, we do want to see a four to six inch gap on the back of the toilet. That is because if one day the toilet decides to leak, the water will come out the back. And this way you'll be able to see the problem and fix it. Then at this point, you have to be quick. The manufacturer says that this plaster can get hard in less than 20 minutes. For me, it only took about 3 minutes to take some pictures for the video, and by that time, this plaster was already hard. But that's okay, because it comes off super easy. You can chip it off, scrape it, and start over if needed. So one more time, let's get everything ready. Make sure the toilet bowl is ready to go, and the air is cleared. We'll mix the one part of water with two parts of mixture. We then spread the plaster on the floor evenly everywhere. We'll take the toilet bowl and set it down gently. Grab yourself a level, put it on top of the toilet bowl, and make any adjustments needed. At this time, you can also secure the bowl by tightening the nuts. Cut off any extra bolt, put the cover on, and do the same thing on the other side. And with the utility knife, you just score the toilet and break off all the excess. Like I said before, this is pretty easy to clean up. Now you're ready to finish off setting up your toilet. This stuff is pretty strong and will keep the toilet in place. But in order for this to work, you need a good firm toilet flange. If you don't have one, check out the next video where I'll walk you through how to get the toilet flange installed correctly. I hope you learned something in this video and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.